Alright guys, so I'm back today with another high value armor solution in the form of a new plate carrier and a brand new set of plates from Guard Dog Armor. If you follow the channel, you'll know I love high value and budget products that actually work and this armor solution is a great example of something like that. If you've ever looked at plate carriers, you can see there is a huge range between like the $60, $70 plate carriers on Amazon and like the $350, $400 premium plate carriers from some name brands out there. And you're just thinking in your head, what do I actually need to defend my life with, use the range, and just feel comfortable in its quality, but yet not break the bank acquiring the plate carrier and the armor itself? Because you got to remember, if you spend $350 on the carrier, you got to spend like another $400 on the armor in a lot of cases. In fact, some cases even more money depending on what armor you get. I feel like what I'm going to show you today is the perfect example of getting that kind of balance between quality and price. So let's take a look at the brand new Shepard Body Armor Plate Carrier from Guard Dog Armor. The cool thing about these guys is they also have included a code over the years that I've used with this company, 704 Tactical, for 10% off. It's going to be good for 10% off anything on their website and free shipping. I've reviewed a lot of their bulletproof backpacks. I've also reviewed some of their plate carriers in the past, as well as their face shields. So these guys have all types of armor solutions. So if you're not quite into this plate carrier, definitely give a look at their website. They've got different versions of the plate carrier, different levels of armor and we'll talk a little bit more about that throughout this review. But in a nutshell, this new plate carrier seeks to combine a lot of the features of some premium plate carriers all wrapped up into this one high value package. And the first thing I wanna discuss is the quick release system on the sign. As you can see in the intro, a lot of new and modern plate carriers are utilizing this buckle system. This allows you to pull down on this to remove it, the cummerbund from the front of the carrier itself, which is really convenient if you wanna get this off. If you ever were shot in the plate carrier and somebody had to treat you or you wanted to remove it quickly because you landed yourself in some water, I mean, these are extreme scenarios, but right, we're talking about plate carriers. You can rip this off, pull down, and that disconnects from the buckle right here. This one is incredibly sturdy and really thick. It's not flimsy at all, and it's held into place with these two nylon straps, so it's really secure, and it's easy to lock back into place. You simply slide the opposing cummerbund right back down, and it locks into place pretty solid. Now, everything's a little bit cumbersome on camera, but I am gonna try to show you this because it's kind of a key feature. So this slides down in, and locks into place. And it's not gonna come off until you pull this tab, it kind of lifts up right here, and then it disconnects. The other cool thing about this carrier is at the top it actually has quick detach straps. So I'm gonna remove these shoulder pads, um, and then these right here, once you press down, or actually press up, these metal buckles, all metal buckles, disconnect for a quick disconnect Again, if you were to try to the strip this plate carrier off for an emergency situation, if you landed yourself in water, if you were shot and you needed to get access to that wound, you can actually pull these and completely just shed the plate carrier as you see in the intro of this video. One thing I do want to note about the straps is I'm 5'8", 175 pounds, and when I 
uh, adjust everything for my body type to keep this up high on my sternum to protect the vital organs, these are covered. So what I did for most of the video and probably what I'll do for the life of the product is remove these and throw a little tape around the strap. It's actually pretty wide and comfortable. So I personally don't need the pads. And if you're a little bit bigger than I am uh, and this buckle kind of goes back out, I'd put the pads back on, but that's something to consider. These are fairly nice pads, but they're a little stiff right out of the box. You will have to work them in. I lift mine on a hanger and they freed right up, but something to consider. If you're about 5'8", like me, or smaller, and you adjust this accordingly, you are gonna be covering up this buckle with the pad, so I'm just gonna remove them. Honestly, a lot of my carriers don't have those pads, so it's kind of a bonus that they're included, so just something to consider. The other cool thing about this carrier setup is the Cummerbund has pockets for side plates. So they're going to accommodate whatever side plates you want to put in there, like 6x6, 6x8. They're going to slide right in there. I don't really run side plates, but that is nice that they're included. Again, this carrier is trying to wrap up all of the features you see in more premium carriers at a more affordable price. The other cool thing about this carrier is it includes almost every pouch you can possibly think of attached to the carrier, and then you can mix and match it and do like Legos for a adults on your plate carrier itself. It comes with these mag pouches located on the side. Uh, personally, I don't run mags on my right hand because that's where my pistol is. So I keep my right hand side clean for a draw. So I'll either leave this flat or take this off. But it's nice they give you a spare mag pouch on both sides. You can also run a ton of stuff on your opposing draw hand so it can be a little bit bulkier on that side because you don't have to draw your handgun. So it just depends on your complete setup. But again, it's really nice they include this stuff. Also, if you're running a battle belt, you could shift some of these care, uh, pouches that they give you down to your battle belt. On the front, it actually comes with a mag carry. You can see already attached right here, and this holds three AR-15 mags. I've been dropping some 9mm mags for the purposes of this video. I've tried a couple of AR mags. It fits nicely. It also has bungee retention straps, which are sewn in there really solid. You can see the good stitching right there. On the top of the carry, it actually comes with a pistol mag pouch. I feel like this is really cumbersome just because it gets in the way of shouldering your rifle. Uh, not too bad, but it does throw the mags up a little bit in your face. I'm going to try to show you guys that right there. So what I've done is simply remove that. It does have a hook and loop field at the top, so you can attach whatever you want. Now, the other cool thing about this is if you're purchasing this and you decide, oh, today I'm going to be running my 9mm AR um, or my 9mm sub gun, you can go ahead and attach the 9mm pouch and run three stick mags in the front. Again, showing you how versatile this actually is. You can also stack these 9mm pouches in front of the uh, AR mag pouches. And the cool thing is, is they include an admin pouch located on the rear. What I did was I flipped this admin pouch around to the front. I attached it via the straps to the front of this AR-15 holder. And this allows access to the admin pouch, and it almost becomes a shelf or a table to access your tools. Again, the versatility here. You can swap this admin pouch out with something like this, and they also include another pouch located in the back, more of a, a larger pouch. So you could swap that in the front, push this to the side, then maybe add an extra AR mag pouch right here. So you can see the versatility of this carrier, and all of this is actually included in the pack. The price of the carrier itself is $125, but when you add it with the brand new Level 4 Armor Plates that we're going to talk about in a second, you can get the whole package for $455, which is an insane deal when you consider these are the lightweight 5.7 pound plates, but we'll get to those in a second. With that code 704 Tactical, you can get this entire setup with all the mag pouches and plates for about $409 with free shipping, so that just puts things into perspective. Uh, that's about the price of some other premium plate carriers without the armor solution. Moving back to this admin pouch, it's really slick because it's completely adjustable. And then if you want to not have it fold all the way open, you adjust this tension so it holds everything there. This is also pretty slick because a lot of guys are going to be using their phones for navigation. I use Gaia GPS on trails and on the land. So what it's going to allow you to do is store battery banks, chargers, oil, tools, knives, tourniquets, a med kit, everything easily accessible in the front. Even if you were down one arm, you can simply just pull this open with one hand, and I'm trying to do this on camera again, and you can access everything you need medical-wise. But this is also pretty slick 
But this is also pretty slick because you can put those battery banks in there, run the chargers out the top, and if you have a phone attached to the plate carrier up here that folds down so you can see your map, you can actually run the power cord right to your phone or your GPS device and allow it to charge it. Or if you're running lights like clip-on lights, maybe IR lights for night vision, or if you're running standard uh, just chest-mounted lights to maybe you're working a traffic stop or something, or this is your for your law enforcement job and you're doing uh, just different things like that. You can have your light mounted here and your charger built in there so you can look at different things like IDs, stuff like that. So this is, again, a very versatile plate carrier setup. The pouches themselves hold that um, 10 by 12 ceramic armor perfectly, and the padding on this carrier is actually really comfortable. Um, it's kind of hard to show you guys on here, but it is incredibly comfortable. It doesn't have necessarily any cuts down the center of this to relieve kind of like air. Um, I've seen other carriers do that, but again, they're a lot more money, so that is just something to consider. Uh, wearing this carrier down at the range was incredibly comfortable. It was easy to use. I had no issues with this whatsoever, and I can definitely recommend the carrier setup itself. Now, I talk about this being a complete, holistically high-value setup. You can actually select what pairs of plates you want from level 3 to level 3 plus to level 4 to level 4 plus, but I feel like where the real value shines is in these new lightweight level 4 plates. These are 5.7 pounds, and again, when you add a pair of these, to the setup, these generally run 170 a plate or 340 for the pair. When you add them here, you save $10 right off the bat when you buy it as a bundle. So then you're really getting the plates for about 330. But then with the code 704 Tactical, 10% off free shipping, this entire setup drops down to four, about $410. Now what makes these unique is they're an alumina polyethylene plate and they're level four rated. So you don't have to worry about it stopping any type of 556, any type of 308. This is going to be a really solid plate option. You can look more about the level four specs, but a lot of those level three plus plates are awesome, but occasionally something can punch through that you may see on the streets, like a 24 inch AR 15 with flash flying, fast flying 556, five, like XM 193 rounds. They could potentially punch through level three plus steel. It's not going to punch through this. And in fact, we're going to be testing it with a wide variety of calibers down on the land in a minute. But the other cool thing about this is there's some other plates in the market that I've reviewed in the past for the $140 and $150 price. So a little bit cheaper than this, but they come in at 8.3, 8.4 pounds. And it is what it is. I mean, they were amazing plates for the money. But this is 5.7 pounds. This is getting pretty darn light for level four ceramic armor. And you are only spending, actually, once you add it to the car, you're only really spending like 160 bucks a plate on this stuff, maybe in, a little, in, in even a little cheaper once you use my code. So this stuff is absolutely awesome. I've been running it in this carrier, and about the only thing we need to do is do the final test on this plate to see what it can stop. Then I'll come back and summarize my thoughts on the entire carrier, because honestly, uh, we have to see what it stops to finish up this review. Now to test the armor itself, I'm going to be hitting it with some really powerful stuff. Again, this is a level four plate, so it should stop a lot. And we are going to be putting it to the test today. Let's set this up. It's going to be mounted to some plywood with ballistics gel behind it to simulate being worn in a plate carrier. Let's see how this armor does. Right off the bat, we're not cutting it any slack. Green tip 556. This is a penetrator round out of a 16 inch barrel AR-15 at about 20 yards. So we hit really low, which is going to test the characteristics of the edge quality of this plate. And let's see, it did not go through, so it definitely stopped it. It started to split the seam at the bottom, but it stopped it just fine. You can see all of that uh, polyethylene in the back capturing that round. One more green tip for good measure. So there's our hit right there, and nothing made it through. So you can see it's got a little back face deformation, but honestly, not that much at all. A direct hit, and on the edge hit, still stopped it just fine. 
Next up, XM193556 mil spec ammo. So this is traveling insanely fast and it normally punches through level three armor out of a 16 inch gun. Uh, but we're gonna put it out of an 18 inch barrel AR-15 and see what it does to this plate. This should be good. We are not cutting this plate any slack. There's our hit right there and nothing made it through. Again, actually not too much back face deformation. This is holding up great. Next up, 762 by 51, more specifically M80 ball. This is going to hit hard out of this AR-10. Let's see how the plate does. Guys, look at that huge hole right there but it stopped it just fine. So it did split the side, but you can actually see inside of the sunlight here, it's kind of where it concaved and captured the round as well as spall protection. Again, guys, this is capturing all of the spalling protecting you because that can be just as deadly as getting shot. And one more hit out of this heavy, powerful round. I really want to test right now, multi-hit capability. right by this one and right by this one so it's already losing a lot of the ability to stop rounds but let's see and it stopped it guys definitely a lot of back face deformation but man is it doing well and now just for good measure and test multi-strike capability 762 by 39 out of this ak-47 So you see guys, a hit right there and it stopped it. And this one actually has very little back face deformation and that's kind of what I expect. So you can see how many rounds it stopped and we did not cut it any slack. 762 by 51 M80 ball, green tip, 556, that XM193 out of an 18 inch barrel. I mean, this thing did amazing and I'm glad it did because this is a great high value option. So we are back from the range and that carrier did well. You can see the multi-hit capability of those plates. I hit it with all different types of ammunition, even edge shots it did and performed incredibly well. Again, there was a little bit of back face deformation with the 308 cartridge, but not a ton and the plate held its shape perfectly. The other good thing about ceramic plates is they control spalling. This one absolutely sucked up all the spall and the spall is the fag fragmentation of the rounds when they impact the carrier and the plate, they kind of explode. Well, this one captures all of it where steel does not. When you look at a steel plate, a lot of times you're paying for the steel, then you have to add the spall protection on top of that. Well, the, adding the spall protection the steel almost ensures that it's gonna start becoming at the same price of ceramic plates. A lot of the steel plates I've used in the past where you add that base coat on top of it and you start adding it or like a spall, it starts to become more than ceramic. So in a nutshell, guys, I absolutely love this setup. For $410, you get this incredibly versatile care with the admin pouch on the front, the plates that stop pretty much anything you can throw at them. I'm in love with this package, especially this little admin pouch on the front. Uh, I just did a video on an admin pouch like this. They come in at like 20 some bucks. So it's pretty cool to see that you get all of these pouches thrown in to save yourself some money. And all of the information linking and codes will be in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. And thanks to Guard Dog Armor for sending this over for us to try out. Uh, it's really cool when they send stuff out to really put it through its paces and see. I can definitely recommend it. Have a good one.